Joining us on the phone now is Mikio Kaiku. He is a professor of physics at City College of New York. Professor Kaiku, welcome to Bottom Line. Thanks for joining us today. Glad to be on the show. Uh, professor, how rare is this for this uh, part of the country? Well, it is rare. However, most of the damage, I think, was psychological rather than physical. I grew up in California, where earthquakes are part of the way of life. But it is rather unusual to have an earthquake uh, of that severity in, the, uh, in North America. We are in the, mid in the middle of an earthquake uh, zone, I mean earthquake plate. So we don't expect to see major earthquakes in the Northeast, uh, unlike the Pacific Ring of Fire, where we have uh, Fukushima and the great San Francisco earthquake taking place. But there are cracks in the North American plate, like north of New York is the Ramapo Fault, uh, right yeah. outside New York City. Uh, professor, uh, were you in your office or in the area when this struck? I was actually in the subway, but I immediately got a call from my wife who said that the, the lights were shaking in the house Very and, and uh, the, the networks have been calling me nonstop. Uh, professor, uh, the rarity of this happening in, in this instance, our uh, Peter Cook, our chief Washington correspondent, was talking to me about that just a few moments ago. This doesn't happen, as you mentioned, in this area that often. But uh, talk to me about the ramifications of this. Is this perhaps an indication of a more serious problem? Probably not. However, it is a wake-up call because we have to prepare for the 100-year storm, the 100-year earthquake, uh, like a nuclear power plant. Uh, we simply don't brace nuclear power plants to handle the 100-year earthquake. Uh, human memory, of course, is measured in years to decades, but Mother Nature, Mother Nature's memory is measured in centuries, and that's why northern Japan got devastated because they neglected the fact that 100-year earthquakes do take place. Uh, professor, the size of this, magnitude 5.9, is that surprising? It's surprising. However, when you look on a scale of decades to centuries, it's not that surprising. The New Madrid Fault, for example, uh, near Missouri and Tennessee, had a huge monster earthquake in the early 1800s. And uh, that was one of the largest earthquakes ever felt in uh, North America. So we have to realize that Mother Nature, on a scale of centuries, will rock the boat, definitely. Uh, Dr. Kaku, given the, the enormity of this, we are getting reports from as far south as Chapel Hill, North Carolina, also receiving reports from up in Canada, from Toronto, that this was felt there as well. Does the breadth of this surprise you? Uh, not necessarily, because our instruments are so sensitive, we can pick up small little tremors halfway across the earth, for example. So the fact that it is 5.9 means that um, damage is going to be minimal, except to the psyche and to our sense of well-being. Uh, there's nothing more rattling than feeling the earth underneath your feet shake. Uh, as earthquakes go, it's not a big one. However, it is a wake-up call. It's a reminder of the fact that even in North America, in the Northeast, we will have earthquakes that can cause damage, meaning that uh, nuclear power plants have to be braced to handle these kinds of 100-year earthquakes. Uh, sir, is this part of the country uniquely prepared to handle an earthquake, say, as opposed to what we see out west, perhaps in California? Oh, we're not prepared at all. If there's a major earthquake that hits Manhattan, where I'm standing right now, uh, you're talking about a good fraction of all the buildings toppling. Uh, the building codes here in Manhattan, uh, no, they date back to the turn of the century. And uh, so the, many of the buildings here would not withstand an earthquake that Japan or California uh, are designed to, to handle from the very start. We're, yep. we're unprepared. Professor Kaku, then it, it begs the question, of course, then, then why? Is it just because history has shown us that earthquakes don't happen here a lot, therefore not a lot of attention was given to it? Uh, it's politics. The politicians say that not on my watch, uh, not on my watch will we have a major earthquake. Let the next uh, joker, the next mayor, the next governor have to worry about it. And that's the way it is with the infrastructure here in Manhattan. The, the Manhattan Bridge, the Brooklyn Bridge, they're all falling apart, except every mayor says it's not gonna, they're not going to fall apart under my watch. And the same thing with earthquakes. Uh, people say it's not going to happen in my lifetime or my kids' lifetime, so why should I have to pay taxes to brace for it? In California, however, we have an institutional memory. They do happen in the memory of living people. And so that's why in California and Japan they brace for it, but not in the Northeast, which is very unfortunate. Dr. Michio Kaku, a professor of physics at City College of New York, joining us on the phone. Professor, thanks for your perspective. We appreciate it. Okay, thank you.